I am not One Mommy Scrapping. I am Mr. One Mommy Scrapping, and this is the video for Thursday, April 1st, 2021. And today, we're going to put a piece of paper under a picture and glue it on another piece of paper using all this and maybe a little bit more. I mean, One Mommy Scrapping does this all the time. How hard can it be? So, I have what looks like Halloween paper here, but it's not, because we are going to be scrapbooking this photo of my 12-year-old daughter, I don't know how this camera works, eating spaghetti for the very first time. You know how everyone has the photo of their kid in the high chair covered in spaghetti? Not us. Nope. Kid would not eat it kid would not touch spaghetti. It was a whole texture issue. We served it to her. We served it to her. We served it to nothing. Nothing. She just would She wouldn't do it. She, if it wasn't a chicken nugget, she wouldn't put it in her mouth. So 12 years in, we finally get her to eat spaghetti. And this is the closest thing to, you know, the classic spaghetti photo that you've got with your kid. Ours just happens to be 12 years old. So I chose this background paper because it's been a journey uh, uh, you know, across the world, it seems like I could have walked to all of these places where these little stamps are, and the time that it took us to get her to eat spaghetti. Um, I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm going to be using Gorilla Glue. I know enough not to put it in my hair. I might use Scotch tape. I've got some Elmer School Glue because my wife's a teacher. We're, we're not going to use spaghetti. We're going to use angel hair pasta for a border because she still won't eat true spaghetti. This was angel hair in this photo. She thinks the spaghetti noodles are gross. This isn't the normal brand that we buy. This was cheap and on sale, and there was one of these stores between my home and work this morning, so that's why I got it. And um, I've got some hole punches. I don't really know why I need this one, but I like the way that it looks. It doesn't look like, you know, a click-click punch. It's, it looks like something you'd exercise your hands with. I've got some scissors. I really don't need this computer mouse that's just in my way. And I've got a wick nipper because, come on, who doesn't need a wick nipper? I'm not going to use it, but I wanted to include it in the video just because. So, we are going to start by getting some of this out of the way. Oh, I might, I might use this too because she told me that super glue would ruin her paper. This picture is from... Picture. That's not a picture. That's a background thing. This background paper is from Chamel's Go Now Go collection. And Chamel, Amy told me to tell you hi and to apologize for what I don't know. But I'm doing it. Tucker is with me, as always. He's not being as spoiled by me as he is by his mommy. Are you good boy? Okay, say hi, Tucker. There he is. Here. Good foot. See, there's Tucker's paw. Good boy. Okay, off. Gother home. Yeah, that's one good home. Yeah, good the boy. All right, so I want to do a spaghetti theme. And I want to stick with spaghetti colors. I don't know if I'm going to use all this stuff, but, you know, spaghetti sauce, spaghetti noodles, spaghetti spaghetti, whatever. I got that whole color palette thing going. I may or may not use all of this. I don't know yet. But let's see what we can do. I'm not using the paper cutter to trim anything. I'm using Skizzers. I don't know if that's a name brand or not, but that's what we always call them. Fiskers. I think we would call this fussy cutting, mainly because Amy gets fussy when she has to cut things with her scissors. And I'm going for really... This was homemade spaghetti, meaning I opened the can and made it at home. So, you know, I'm going to go with, you know, the homemade look. I think they call it rustic now. I'm going to go with a rustic look for all of my cuts. That's right, it's a rustic open face sandwich, means, you know, I didn't put the sandwich together. And no, that is not a straight cut. That is not a 90 degree angle, and that line is kind of wavy. I like it that way, because this picture is going to be just slightly overlapped. And you know what? I'm going to cut this bottom off too, just because I can. This is my little world. You're all living in it tonight. Throwing that away. Okay, 
So we got, yeah, we got, see that? Nice little overlap there. Okay. Now behind that, I'm going to build up three more layers. Ever so slightly different. Ever so slightly larger. And again, rustic. I'm, I mean, I, you, you can't see my head, but I'm not even looking at the scissors when I'm cutting this. I'm just like, oh, okay, whatever. Here we go. I'm just hoping and praying I don't cut the black part while I'm doing that. Okay. We might use these later. I don't know. Now we're going to go for a little orange here behind it. Mm, okay. Amy always says that uh, Elizabeth and I make too much noise downstairs when she's doing one of these videos. So I've got to call her out for that tonight. I got no idea what the girls are doing. Probably having fun without me, but that's okay. I'm doing this. This, this is my job tonight. It's you and me. I know this isn't a live video, but I'm talking to you like this was a live video. Usually while Amy's doing these videos, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm wrecking, I'm outside, I'm doing something. Could be working on the computer at home, trying to get some stuff done for work. So, for those of you that don't know what wrecking is, it, it's walking with a weighted backpack. It's the worst hobby ever. But uh, it burns more calories than walking alone. It's not as bad on your knees as, as running is. And uh, you can do it while you're talking to your friend right next to you. So you get three or four people together, you all go out for a ruck, you end up walking five or six miles. By the time it's over and done with, you've burnt 600 calories and you got a nice sweat happening and, and you feel like you've accomplished something. Which hopefully by the end of this video tonight, we're going to feel like I accomplished something. Probably won't happen, but that's what we're shooting for. So, X marks the spot, baby, if it comes undone. There we go. Okay. And I just hit the mouse. Are you guys still with me? Did I cut this off? Maybe that's why the mouse was over here in the first place. I'm going to put it right here in its home. This is going to be the mouse's home. That's where it lives right now. That mouse, that's your home. That's your home. You go. Okay. And I'm eyeballing this because I'm not really measuring anything. Before we started this video, Amy told me that I'm going to have to edit it when we're done. I do edit videos. I edit videos for my friend Rick. Um, he's a professional trainer. And uh, I worked with Rick for uh, a good year and a half. Rick worked with me for a good year and a half. And uh, using his exercise program, I, I lost a little over 90 pounds. Uh, it was a long time ago, and it was a lot of hard work. I'm not going to lie to you about that, but Rick's the one that got me into rucking. And right now, my friend Rick is doing the Appalachian Trail. He is attempting a through hike from Georgia to Maine. And uh, I was lucky enough to go with him for his first weekend uh, in Georgia. And I'm currently editing his videos that he sends me while he's on the Appalachian Trail and posting them to his YouTube channel. So if you want to look up Aquaman on the AT on YouTube, you can find him. You know what? That's not perfect, but neither am I, and I'm happy with it. I'm happy with who I am. I'm happy with how this looks. You should be happy with you, too. you got to realize nobody's perfect, not even you. I mean, I'm pretty darn close sometimes, but be happy with yourself. So we got this, okay? That's going to be our centerpiece. How are we going to put it on the paper? Here? We're going to put it here? We're going to put it here? I'm digressing. I was talking about Rick, Aquaman on the AT. Look him up. He's using the moniker Aquaman on the trail because for a little over a decade he was the physical model for DC Comics, for Aquaman, and for two video games that they did. So uh, that kind of stuck with him. And I just noticed right here there's a little bit of tape from this tape gun sticking out, but that's okay. It's a happy accident. It's not perfect, and I can live with that. Because look at that. You just got to roll with it, baby, and it rolls right off. 
And if it bugs me later, I'll put a sticker over it, right? So anyway, I don't know where I'm going to put this on the paper. Here, here, down here, maybe. i got to find somewhere to put a title. But for right now, I'm going to put it right there because that's where it fell. We may go with that. We'll see. I got the Paschetti here. And I'm going to do a border across the bottom with uncooked Paschetti noodles. And I just noticed that these noodles are not 12 inches long. That was, you know, a nod to Dr. Cox for all of you who used to watch Scrubs. I'm sorry there, Nancy. That's not going to happen. Okay, so these aren't going to go all the way across. And would you look at that? They're translucent. I don't want to see the background through that. we got to do something else. I'll come back to you later. You go back to your home. So, hmm. That's not 12 inches either, but you know what? Washi tape. This is probably going to be a colossal failure. This is what happens when I don't plan. But I don't care. I'm having fun. I hope you're having fun too. Would you look at that? The washi tape is translucent too. That's a crock. I'm going to have to go out in the garage and get some duct tape. That stuff's not transparent. And you know what they say. If you can't fix it, duct it. Right? I bet if I layered this. If I layer this, it's still going to be translucent. Cheesy Pete. I got a feeling I'm going to be buying one mommy scrap and some more washi tape. Because I'm using a lot of it right here tonight. That's all right. It's all good. <sighs> now, let's get the Paschetti out again and see what we can do. That's better. You can't see all the way through it. All right. I'm good with that. Ribbon would be nice. But she didn't tell me that I could use those ribbons, so that's okay. She also told me to stay away from like six different things in her room, and I can't remember what they were. So if I'm getting in trouble for using any of this other than Chamel paper, she specifically said to use Chamel's paper. Um, I'm sorry. All right. Uh, this is what I wanted. Paper towels. Bounty. Select a size. Don't settle for anything different. I don't know if you're supposed to do this. I don't care. I'm doing it. <laughs> she did tell me this was not acid free. So, uh, whatever. Apparently we need more school glue. This is what happens when you have a kid in school that uses school glue for projects all the time. This is also what happens when you watch an idiot sit here and put glue on paper. It's going back and forth. Happy little swirly clouds right there, yeah. Look at that. It almost looks like you're writing your name in cursive glue. I guess it's better than writing your name in the snow, right? Okay. Who knows how long this is going to set to take up. Only the Phantom knows. But I do know, don't put Gorilla Glue in your hair. I'm smart enough to figure that one out on my own. SMRT. Ooh, you see that? That is, that is bad Gorilla Glue. That is, that's, that's old. That's, yep. We're not using that one. This one's a little better. All right, so I'm just going to do a border of Gorilla Glue here because I need something that will dry fast 
and hold this Pescetti in place. So just a thin little line, and maybe some down here at the bottom, like I said, to hold it in place. And now, let's get dangerous. Bonus points if you know who that's from. Anyone? Anyone? And you will see that I have decided to roll with the fact that my Pescetti is not 12 inches wide, long, whatever this is. And that's okay. Like I said before, it's not perfect, and neither am I. And the sooner you accept that as a human being, the happier you're going to be. We all want to be happy, right? Alright, I think that's enough. After that dries, I'll trim it. Whoa! So he wants to stay behind, you stay behind with your friends. That's perfectly fine with me. We are done with the Pescetti, the angel hair. Sorry, that's upside down. Proper product placement. Tuck, no can has. There's a straight one. Okay, now we're gonna take some more of this super glue. No, no, sorry, Elmer's School Glue, which I found out tonight, semantics, non-toxic and edible, apparently two different things, both have the same results, it's not going to kill you if you eat it. This is going to look like a kindergartner did it by the time I'm done with it. Which is fine, because like I said, we never got that picture of the messy little girl in the high chair with the Pescetti all over her hair and the wall and, you know, her shirt and her bib and her parents and everything else. So that's, that's kind of the inspiration that I'm going for here is, is you know, the, the kid. And this stuff will dry clear. It may take it, you know, 48 hours to dry, but it, it'll dry clear. may not be pretty, but I'm going for a look here. And that look is messy, messy, messy. Look at that. Sorry, that, that's the bottle, not me, really, I promise. Now, I'm going to get the, the, the bounty, select the size again. And I'm going to go with the grain of the Pescetti, of the, of the pasta here. I may go in a couple of directions, but I'm going to go with the grain. Get that glue down in there. Make sure it runs off the edge of the paper. And then I'm going to try to clean up this edge right here just a little bit. Just like that. See, there we go. Just like that. Now, watch me get my shirt sleeves in that wet glue now. It's okay. It'll come out in the wash. It will, I promise. Okay, now we need a background for the title. I was told I could use these Thickers, but I can't make fun of the name Thickers. So I'm going to use these thick stickers. And they're about what? An inch tall? I don't care. Close enough. 
I'm going to eyeball that. And I'm going to... Is this fussy cutting? I don't know. I'm seeing kind of content. I don't think I'm fussing. I'm going to cut a background for these thick stickers. The thickers. And again, I'm going rustic here. It may not look like it, but I actually do have a background in art. I was a graphic artist major in college. I majored in graphic arts and imaging te technology. You know, sort of had an eye for design for the longest time. Don't know what happened. It's one of those things we're not really using that in life anymore, but that's okay. I'm having fun at my job. We'll put the title on later. I'm happy with that. Now, what is a good spaghetti without meatballs? I hope this is how this works. Oh, look at that, a meatball. And another one. And because not all meatballs are the same size, because they're rustic. Well, okay, so that one's not perfect. That's okay, it can go under something. Or over it, or around it, or whatever. I must say, I like this one better. And then, you know, some meatballs are big. Oh. And because there's a lot of meatballs, I'm looking for something that's supposed to be over here, but it's not. Hmm. I was told... Oh, there it is. It was right in front of me. She put it where I could see it. That was my head. Sorry about that. I know that's very unprofessional. I was told I could hide a little Disney magic in here by putting in some hidden Mickey meatballs. Because honestly, what's a good layout? What's a good art piece at all without Disney magic? So we're going to have lots of little hidden Mickeys. Oh, look at that. Look how cute that is. You see how that... That little thing, that, that's just a, a cute little hole there. If I was being really creative, I'd use that for something else. I'm not being that creative. These are not going to be hidden Mickeys. These are going to be overt Mickeys. Got to get this one out again. That's my favorite. I think I'm going to steal this one take it to work with me. Did you see what happened? I just got my hand in the glue. Yeah, it's all right. I won't tell anybody if you won't tell anybody. Because, let's face it, nobody's going to watch this video. It's going to come on and they're going to be like, That's not Amy. Click. I'm going to go watch cat videos. Which is probably what my daughter is doing right now, watching cat videos. <laughs> Sometimes I hum when I'm bored. I don't know why. I'm not bored, I'm just making decisions. Ooh, 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 you know what? I'm not going to put this one behind something. I'm going to put this bad mamba jamba on the side. I don't know how much of this glue tape stuff, whatever I need, so I'm just going to use what I think is a good amount. He's going to go on the side right there. Get him lined up with that side. Look at that. That's like it was meant to be. That, that was meant to happen. There, there's got to be a faster way. She's mentioned glue dots before. I have no idea where they are, so eh, whatever. Just keep going. Just keep doing your thing. Yeah, this is not working. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make my own little glue dots. Look at that! Dot of glue. 
Technically, that's a glue dot, right? Oh, she said there was a volcano glue I could use, but I have to be really careful and not lose the pin, which is apparently glued into it. That one. Can you see, can you see that? That pin? Okay. And apparently this stuff goes everywhere when you set it down. Something about high and low pressure. Uh, physics, meteorology, something. I don't know. Tucker just sighed at me. My dog just sighed at me. Is the joke that bad, Tucker? I know why he sighed. Because at this point, somebody's usually giving him a T-R-E-A-T. But he's been having some allergies, and we are cutting back on the T-R-E-A-Ts, as well as some of the other food he's getting to try to figure out what he's allergic to. And he seems to be doing just fine with his regular over-the-counter dog food. Which, by the way, he eats Victor Active Dog and Puppy. Which is very funny, because if you know Tucker, he is not an active dog. But, it's a good food. A friend of mine owns a kennel, that's what he feeds to all the dogs in the kennel. If you can't tell, I'm just kind of throwing these down wherever. Except for that bad boy, he was meant to go right there. Meant to. That one's upside down. All the luck will fall out, but that's okay. It's spaghetti. It's supposed to look like it was, you know, fell all over the plate. Did I glue that one down? Nope. But guess what? It's happening right now. I could probably use that tape. That was glued down. That was not glued down. Am I using the right amount of glue? I don't know. Is this glue going to dry clear? I don't know. Am I going to be happy with it when I'm done? Definitely. Because these are the choices I've made. Did I? I did. I glued that one down and didn't glue this down. Let's fix that. I think I'll be more comfortable using super glue, but... Apparently it's bad for the paper or something. I don't know. I feel like I should be writing my name with this glue. Oh, I was told I was supposed to stamp the date in the lower left hand corner. When I'm done, the lower left hand corner is covered in paschetti. I don't think that's happening. Okay, so this glue is uh, getting puffy on me. I didn't know that was supposed to happen. It's a happy accident. I'm rolling with it. Oh, there's a, yeah, that one's not done. Can you find the hidden Mickeys in this picture? I hope so. Everything glued down now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's not. Hello. That was not either. down. Everybody happy? Everybody happy? Would you look at that? Oh, one left! I've got one left. It's okay, I can always make more. Like right here. I need something right here. I'm getting this one because it's my favorite. That one's going right there. Not bad. Mm. 
This, I'm gonna have to use this on. Okay, those of you that are watching this now are probably screaming at me, telling me I'm using too much of this. I don't know how much to use. Maybe you're screaming at the screen telling me I'm not using enough of this. I don't know. I do want you to know, I don't know what I'm doing. Live with it. It's okay. Right about there. That's where it's going. Tucker, you like that? You can't see it, can you? It's okay. It is all right. So now, I have to use my thickers. Oh, I can't actually lay these things out. Okay, whoever designed these things, we need to chat. Okay, I gotta find an H. You'd think they'd put these things in alphabetical order. H is going right there. So, yeah, you find the middle letter and then you work your way out. So, I need an E. So, help me. If this doesn't have enough letters in here, I don't know what I'm going to do. And a G. And an S. Look at that. There's an S. I need two T's, just like in my name. Sometimes people spell my name with only one T. Matthew, two T's. I don't have a lot of YouTube videos, but I am on Instagram, Facebook, and sometimes Twitter. Although Twitter is a very hateful environment. I mean, I just get depressed when I go on Twitter because of everybody just being so mean. Stay away from it. Anyway, I'm at that Matt Myers. M-Y-E-R-S. One E, not two. That's okay, it happens. Also, at thatmattmyers.com, if you want to go look at my blog about my weight loss, or I may put something up about the weekend on the Appalachian Trail, I don't know. I have some of my work up on there, if you want to look at that. Link to my portfolio, way back when. Look. It's Paschetti. Paschetti and meatballs. Ta da! I got a feeling these thickers aren't going to stick on these multiple levels here. That's why I've got the super glue. Oh, see this? Scotch tape. I'm not going to use it. I just brought it out because it made Amy roll her eyes inside. I like this. It kind of looks like spilled Paschetti. <laughs> Can't peel it off. It's broken. Wow, washi tape really sticks. And comes off brittle. We might not use this. Or we might. Alright, if you know the name brand of this washi tape, 
and with this particular wood grain pattern on it in red. Feel free to write them on my behalf and tell them that it sucks. I'm not using that. I'm going to back up and punt. Which is really funny because I don't know anything about sports ball. But I hear that phrase a lot. I'm going to use this. And, and yes, yes I am. I am going to take this all the way down to the wet glue on the bottom. This is going to be a border on one side if I can get it to work. You can't see me but I got my tongue stuck out of one side of my mouth now and I'm chewing on it because I'm being intense. Somewhere there's an X-Acto knife. That's it. Right there. Look at that. There you go. So, does One Mommy Scrapping ever talk about knife safety? Three rules of knife safety. Especially when crafting with something like this or creating a building. One, always keep it sharp. I'm trying to make it glint in the light when I say that. Always keep it sharp. Two, always point it away from you. And three, never force it. Never try to push it down or turn it or pop something in or pry something out because if you do if you follow all three of those rules I always keep it sharp and clean always point it away from you and never force it no stitches no lost digits this is not an exacto knife looks like something from the x-files but that's a different story okay so I've got two borders, one of them still wet. It's gonna get cut. My screen just went dark. Apparently, I'm, oh, there we go, everybody's back. I haven't moved the mouse in a while. I'm <laughs> so boring the computer's even going to sleep. Okay, um, I'm done with the glue. I'm gonna put the pin back on the top of the glue. The glue did not erupt into a volcano. Okay, maybe I'm not gonna, there it goes. Okay, there you go. Yes, yeah, she said I'm going to have to edit this when I'm done, but I'm thinking I'm more of a Gene Hackman one-and-done kind of guy. But that's just me. I want to use this, but I can't get the stupid thing peeled. Okay. So, same thing with the other red. Maybe this washi tape is just old and out of date. I don't know. No. No, that is not on the layout. You are correct. Because I want to cut this at an angle. Okay, maybe her knives aren't as sharp as they should be. But I'm not going to force it. I don't want to cut that. Right there. You see, this will be kind of like the Peschetti sauce. See how it's translucent and you can see through it? Now, get that out of the way. I don't want to use that. He said I could use some of these sticker books. And look, there's a Chamel sticker book. I don't know what I want to use. I'm literally just grasping at straws here. I really want to use this one because it says that's what she said. I could. Paschetti. That's what she said. We're using that one. Of course, that's not what she said at 12 years old. That's what she said, you know, when she was a wee lass. She's no longer a wee lass, but uh, that's okay. No, I'm not going to put this on straight because the background 
Man, it was not straight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, perfect. Okay, we're good. We're golden. Well, technically we're not golden. There's a silver, a yellow, and a green. I'm not going to use the knife. Oh, what the heck? Let's use the knife. Who eats a spaghetti with a knife? Raise your hand. Anyone? I'm going to use it because otherwise that sticker is just going to be lonely in the book by itself. And it's going to be crying. It's going to be going, where did my friends go? Look, buddy, your friends are right here with you. No reason to cry. No reason to cry. Amy insists on eating her spaghetti with a fork and a spoon. And she uses the spoon to make a little spaghetti ball out of it and eat it with. Which, you know, I think is adorable. But just... Oh, look at that! There's another fork, knife, and spoon. There must be, like, multiples in here. Well, good. She won't get mad at me for using her last one. Alright. Done with that one. Is this a sweet moment? I don't know. you know what? There's another fork, knife, spoon in here. And it's going to live right here. Off, no, right there. Violating the corner of that little dot. I need to find something to use for a journaling space. I don't know. I don't journal. Well, I guess I would journal if I scrapbook a lot, so that's probably why. She said to put the date on here, right? You know what? She said to put the date on here in the corner. So I'm going to cut that off. And again, I'm just eyeballing it because this is what? Rustic. Just like spaghetti. Hi, you can see the top of my head. I hope my little bald spot's not too distracting. Paschetti. I didn't put a border behind that. I'm fine with that. I didn't intend to. I don't want it to be that noticeable. But I probably will journal on it at some point. Always put your knife away when you're done. Look, I made it through the entire layout and I didn't even use the wick nippers. But I have to keep bringing them back out because wick nippers is fun to say. I've got no idea what this is, but it's really cool because it's blue sight. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. The layout needs something right here. And then I think I'll be done until the glue dries and I can, you know, cut that. And I can, I can fold this over. Yes, Tucker, I know. He's like, you're not my mom. You're sitting in her chair. You're not supposed to be there. It's okay, buddy. Just accept it. Let's see if Shamel has anything I can put here. Which, Shamel, if you ever watch this, which I don't know why you would, because, hey, who am I? Um, you're one of Amy's heroes. That's okay. I think that's awesome. I love what you do. I'm going to put this little tag. Looks like a library card catalog tag right there. Why? I don't know. Yes, I do. So I can date stamp it. Where's my date stamp? It's not February 20th. Oh, I, oh that must be the date that the uh, picture was made. I don't know if that's the right date. I'm going to check with Amy before I date stamp that. I'll also sign it up here. She signs hers on her back, on the back. But uh, this is one that I did. 
This is my baby. Whose baby is that? What's your angle? I'll buy that. So we'll wait for this to dry and not pull off all that. Man, that is really heavy. We'll cut those off after the glue dries. And I think we'll be golden, just like this uncooked spaghetti. Golden like uncooked spaghetti. I really want to work that in, but alas, I can't get the stupid thing to peel. That's okay. I just need to accept that fact and move on, right? You're looking at me and you're going, don't do it! Don't do it! But I think I want it. But I think, just like that top border, I'm not going to do it all the way across. I'm not going to do it all the way down. No, those lines aren't parallel. No, those lines aren't even or perpendicular. I said it before and I said it again. Rustic. Say it with me, class. Rustic. Now this is sticking to the paper, the whatever this cutting mat is. But that's okay. You didn't see that. I dropped the knife. There we go. And now that I've opened that up, I got myself another issue here. I feel like I need something here. Maybe I should just live with that feeling. Maybe I should do something about it. I don't know. I'm not done yet. If you know One Mommy Scrapping, you know I'm not done yet. And you'll know why I'm not done yet. Because what's missing from this layout? Say it with me. No, no, no. I'm not even going to say it. You can say it. It's a One Mommy Scrapping layout. All of them have to have one thing. I'm going to make this one violate too. What's the one thing they all have to have that I've not even touched on yet? Anyone? Oh, here, I dropped it. <laughs> Sharp knife. Point it away from you. And never force it. So, as a maker, as a creator, as a crafter, whatever you want to call yourself, if you're ever doing that, and you're making a cut, and you're like, this is just not working, I can't make it, I can't pull that straight line, I can't cut that wiggly edge, I can't do it, stop for a second, and just feel your body, and think, my shoulders are tense, loosen those shoulders up, let go of wherever you're... You're holding that tension. If it's in your jaw, if it's in your neck, if it's in your head, moving around, relax and then make the cut. And just just breathe out and relax when you're doing it. Because when you're tensed up, you're just like, robot. It's not going to work. That's my wisdom for tonight. She told me I had to ink things. I think that's her style. I'm not going to ink anything on this one. You know, like the corners of this and everything. It's just not going to happen. But, what am I missing? Boom! Nouveau drops. This one, she had explode on her one time and like half of the bottle went everywhere. Check out her videos. It's on there somewhere. I'm going to use the Nouveau drops as the sprinkly cheese on the peschetti. That's right, Parmesan cheese. I'm probably using these drops wrong. You're probably screaming at your computer right now. 
don't care. And all the little meatballs are going to get a couple of three Nouveau drops. And I might actually change colors. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. That's not a meatball. I know. I'm being random. Which is something my wife accuses me of all the time. Why do you have to be so random? Focus. Do, 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 do. Sometimes I sing to myself instead of hum. That's okay. Oh, there's one without one. And sometimes your little sprinkly cheese, your Parmesan cheese, is not straight Parmesan cheese. Sometimes it's Parmesan Romano. Romano. That's a fun word to say. Sometimes I get stuck on fun words to say. Amy will tell you that. A favorite word in the English language has to deal with sharks. I'm a big shark guy. My favorite word in the English language is expunge. Like a shark will swallow something too big for it to digest, and it will expunge the contents of its stomach out into the ocean. Basically turn it inside out and spit it out. It's not fun to watch. It's kind of gross, actually. But it's a fun word to say. Expunge. And just because this is Pischetti, here's a little spaghetti sauce to go with it. That kind of matches the orange meatballs. Look at that. That is what Bob Ross would call a happy accident. Happy accidents. They happen all the time. We've got enough hidden Mickeys, so I'm not going to attempt to make a hidden Mickey with uh, with these Nouveau Drops. But that, my friends, is your April 1st layout from Mr. One Mommy Scrapping. Hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed spending the time with you. I'll have some photos later once this dries of the finished layout with the nice, you know, cut spaghetti edges that's nice and, and even. But uh, until then... Thank you for joining me. Have a lovely day. This layout gets my Matt Myers seal of approval. It's not just good, it's good enough.